Hey everybody, my name is Michael Payne with Next Gen Lighting Solutions and this is the third episode of the Light Chatter uh, vlog that we've uh, premiered here just in the last uh, few weeks. Today we have Eric Van Weer, who is Vice President of Sales and Marketing for NLS, manufacturer of uh, quality lighting, outdoor lighting products. Um, great to have you here, Eric. Great to be here. Thank Appreci you. Appreciate you coming. And we've uh, been able to co-travel with Eric for the last couple of days. Uh, he's been here uh, meeting with some of our customers and I've had the opportunity to actually co-travel with him yesterday. And one of the things that I love about when a manufacturer comes here is to get to know the person. And so yesterday you gave me a pretty nice, interesting uh, backstory about how you got to the position that you're in now sure, with NLS. Sure. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, Mike. Uh, so I started in the industry in about the year 20, let me see here, 2018. Excuse me, not 2018, 1991, a little off there. Right. Uh, I started in, uh, you know, driving forklift, uh, you know, making catalogs, doing just very minor stuff, and I worked my way up. And my last role, I was a chief operating officer for Visionaire Lighting in uh, California. And I was in that role for 15 years, and I was just, you know, kind of stuck, really wanted to be in the sales side of business. You know, I was on the operational side for 15 years. Um, got a little bored with that, and then, uh, my partner Bill, who was uh, the chief of technology at uh, Visionaire, he left to start a new operation. That didn't work out so well, and then he had this idea to start NLS. And uh, he recruited me and said, hey, Eric, I'd like you to think about you know, running the rep organization as our VP of sales. And he said, I'd also like you to be in charge of product development and marketing. And uh, you know, I thought long and hard about that, and it made sense to me. It was a challenge that you know, I'd really been looking for, and I accepted it, and uh, you know, I'm very glad I did. Excellent. That sounds great. So you, this is kind of a family matter for you as well, yeah, right? So this person I talk about is actually my uncle. That's so right. Yeah. He and I had worked together for uh, over tw 28 years now. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Very interesting as far as uh, how people, especially family members, kind of evolve around a certain industry. And here, is, you know, the in lighting industry is very similar. So mm -hmm. sure. that's, that's great. Also, um, you know, one of the things that I love about uh, being an agency is um, seeing and discovering new manufacturers, um, ones that are growing their business just like an NLS. And um, can you give us kind of a brief history on NLS and how the company came to be as well? Sure. You know, I mean, it was just, uh, you know, a small group of us, uh, four or five individuals in the beginning. and. Uh, you know, then we needed uh, capital. So we called some friends and, and Bill Hine, who was the president at the time, he called his uh, good high school friend or childhood friend, Robert Goldstein. And uh, Robert uh, kindly invested in the, in the business in a little bit. And then he found it, the lighting business a bit intriguing. So he wanted to learn more about it. Uh, and then Robert uh, currently today is our CEO and heavily involved in the business and, he's, and he really likes it. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, Robert Goldstein brought his son Ryan in, and Ryan is our president today. And couldn't be more proud of Ryan. He does a great job. He's really learned the, you know, the business through and through in just a short uh, two and a half, three years. So, Excellent. Wow. You know, now we have Quick got a, a great lighting team together. We've got a great financial team together, and a great operational team. So we're we're just running, uh, you know, a hundred percent on all cylinders. Which is a g great segue. Uh, you've been growing exponentially as a company, um, and. Even last year, I won't throw out the numbers, but uh, uh, an incredible amount of growth last year, even during sure. the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, what do you attribute uh, your success and your growth to at this point? You know, I, I will say the number is, you know, we did grow about 30 percent okay. during, uh, you know, COVID pan pandemic. And, you know, I would attribute it to our reps. And I, I say that. You know, we've made some changes. We've hired some really good reps. Next Gen, one of those great reps. Thanks. And uh, you know, we've really upgraded, and you know, we've become more of a specification grade company rather than an order chasing company. So you know, those reps have really changed the way that we run our business, and you know, I contribute that to it. Great, yeah. great. How does NLS uh, differentiate themselves uh, from other outdoor lighting? equipment manufacturers you know, that, that's very easy I mean I think that you know we're a young nimble company so we're that company that you can come to and say I'd like to modify this product just a little tweak here a little tweak there or I always tell you know reps that you know come come to us with a product project that you need that's a you know 
200 fixtures and it's something that would typically be an eight week lead time and you know we're that company that can do it for you in, in one and a half or two weeks yeah. you know we can pull off miracles yeah. like that so. and we enjoy that as well that's what we've done yeah. in some uh, very unique uh, projects that um, that you know we would only be able to do that with somebody that's flexible and right. that's what we love about uh, working with you guys right. As far as uh, product performance go, are there any engineering advantages that you guys add to your, your products? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest engineering advantage that we have, um, and I didn't plan this, but it's right here, is our silicone optics. Mm -hmm. So the silicone optics have had a major breakthrough in, in our sales and our specifications. So it, it's, a, it's a great tool for the specification salespeople to have. Uh, architects and engineers, uh, they love it, right. and it's a good story to tell. So, so what is the advantage of, of that? You know, so the advantage of silicone over uh, acrylic or polycarbonate is that uh, silicone is rated to 200 degrees C, where acrylic or polycarbonate is only rated to 85 degrees C. Okay. So, uh, silicone is is a really uh, um, great material to, to work with. It doesn't yellow. It doesn't get brittle or crack in time. You know, right. whereas acrylic and polycarbonate, they will get yellow uh, over how much time though I mean that was interesting you know, what you said within the first year it could be well, yellowing. We, we have some charts that, that uh, I don't have it in front of me but it was uh, a chart of a test done by Dow Corning and Dow Corning is the raw materials manufacturer of all three materials that's the acrylic polycarbonate um, and uh, acrylic or excuse me and silicone and uh, they have a little chart showing that just after you know 6,000 hours of heat aging that the uh, there's zero change to the silicone but if you look at the polycarbonate and the acrylic, they start to yellow a little right. bit just after 6,000 hours. Then after 6,000 hours of additional heat aging, then the acrylic is starting to you know, get a little bit more browner, and then the, uh, the acrylic is starting to uh, completely turn brown and warp a little bit. Right. So it, it's quite interesting. So know? it attributes to uh, accelerated light loss depreciation and probably takes the actual distribution and changes it probably absolutely yeah, distorts it right? absolutely yeah. and then if you look at our our product as a you know as a term of you know life l70 you know all of our products are rated for 483,000 hours so you know you add that plus the silicone optics you know and then when you're you know look at a light loss factor or depreciation our fixtures typically depreciate 10 times slower than our competitors okay and I'm not talking about China competitors I'm talking about you know your the, the mainstream the mainstream competitors. manufacturers yeah, yeah okay that's great uh, do you have a uh, personally have a favorite top selling product maybe that you guys developed or that your engineering group developed that has been a top seller or just kind of put NOS on the map sure I mean I think I'm always the most proud of I'm, I'm heavily involved in product design so I'm always proud of the the latest and greatest product that we have so you know we have here our NV flood this is a size f1 NV flood uh, so this is today my favorite fixture you know okay. so I want to see this thing blossom we just introduced this a couple weeks ago um, so I would say that would be it great yeah, yeah. and we, we have a demo kit if anyone wants to see that and yeah. any of our viewers want to see it we'd be happy to stop by and showcase that um, what about in interesting projects? Anything that sticks out in your mind? I'm sure that there sure. were some early on, or I, I don't know, anything that really, uh, again, you think put you guys on the map or just an interesting concept and kind of uh, cre helped to create your company culture, perhaps? Yeah, we've done, we've done a few you know, uh, pretty prestigious jobs, but the one that stands out the most to me is the city of Cleveland. Um, about a year and a half ago, we retrofitted the entire city of Cleveland uh, with their acorn fixture and I, I don't know the counts of the acorn but it was a it was a large multi-million dollar contract to replace every acorn you know complete fixture um, you know they they selected the NLS uh, Savannah fixture uh, because of our optics now a large conglomerate was sixty dollars lower than us per fixture but the city liked the optical system and the and the uh, NLS Savannah fixture better so they selected it so right. Um, the unit has like kind of a tower with a bladed optical system, a louvered bladed optical system that uh, really reduces the glare. So um, that's what made them ultimately make their decision. And you know that was a that was a great product. And and just how we got selected was pretty cool. Yeah, that's so, exciting. Yeah. How much uh, involvement did you have in that? Did you help to pitch it to the city or to the? You know, there was really no pitching it to the city. Yeah. It, it was kind of one, these random things where, you know, you get an opportunity to bid a large job, you bid it, you don't ever think about it right. again. But, you know, we got a call back a year later and they said, hey, you know, you're one of the top three and they wanted a sample product. And, you know, we had to fly down there, meet with everybody. Right. And it was just, you know, pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. 
It's nice when that happens. Yeah, certainly. They're not always that simple. No, no they're not. <laughs> right. Um, we had already talked about uh, the the uh, new flood. Do you want to go into any more detail on that at all, or would you prefer to sure, let us I, go out and We can talk about that? flood. So we okay. just, you know, NLS have launched a new flood. We call it the ND flood, and we have an ND size uh, F1 and F2. Uh, what's great about it, it has the silicone optics, which we talked about a minute ago. Right. And it, it's available in four uh, static color LEDs, so static red, uh, static meaning not color changing, static red, green, blue, uh, and amber PC. Uh, and then we also have it available in six different Kelvin temperatures, so 2700K, 3000K, 3500K, 4000K, and 5000K. That might be seven. Um, and then we have eight different uh, optical distributions for it. We have a 15 degree, uh, very narrow distribution, a 30 degree, a 55 degree, an 85 degree, and then we have four different NEMA distributions for it as well. That's amazing. So, so the Swiss Army knife of It is the Swiss lights. Army. Thank there you. You go. must have read the brochure. <laughs> yeah, so, I did. And uh, we also have uh, six different glare control options for it. So this is the short snoot that you see here. We have barn doors, egg crate louvers, all kinds of stuff. So it's a, it is the Swiss Army knife for floodlights. Excellent. That is excellent. Well. Uh, in conclusion, I appreciate you taking the time here. Uh, Eric and um, NLS have actually helped, and you actually signed up for the premier or inaugural um, Arc Light Summit, which is being held here in Dallas the week of September 20th. Uh, in addition, the same week, we're having our, um, our Candela Festival, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys to helped to support that as well, and I really appreciate it. Um, what I can say about NLS and working with you is that you guys are, uh, you know, an up-and-coming lighting manufacturer, uh, and I would say probably already there as far as a premier lighting company to work with. Thank you. I know you've got a lot of uh, upside uh, potential as well, seeing that you've only, what is it, seven years now that you've been in business? Eight six years? And six, six and a half. Six and a half years. Yeah. So it's amazing that the growth that you guys have experienced, and, and you're probably as old as we are at this point. I think yeah. maybe a little bit older. So we're going yeah. on our sixth year. So uh, we appreciate uh, working with you guys and I can fully attest to um, you know, all the viewers out there, if you're looking for a flexible manufacturer to work with as far as any of your projects, custom type opportunities, um, uh, you know, there's no better company to work with or partner uh, than NLS Lighting and Eric Van Weer. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.